Well, Stephen A., do you agree with this strategy of walking Harper? Absolutely not. And I think it's a disgrace, and I think it robs baseball fans. Um, and I think it's ultimately going to, to, going to crucify the sport. Uh, listen, you know, I, I read an article from the Washington Post back in April of 2015 where Commissioner Rob Brand Manfred said at the time, if I'm quoting him accurately, he said the biggest single uh, predictor or indicator of a sport of interest in the sport and the avidity of a sports is, uh, you know, whether or not you play as a youth. And what you're finding now is that the sport itself, it hasn't successfully gone about the business of ingratiating itself with the youth of America because it's perceived as being, and primarily it is, a thinking man's game. It's certainly not to say that you know, baseball players are devoid of skill. Of course, they have tremendous skill. It takes tremendous skill to hit a 95-mile-per-hour fastball, a 95-mile-per-hour fastball, a 90-mile-per-hour curve or slider or whatever the case may be. Just ask Bryce Harper. If these pitchers did their homework, they'd recognize that if you ain't throwing fastballs low and outside and you're throwing it a little bit high, whether it's a fastball, a cutter, or a slider, he's going to struggle with that. It's lethal in a elite as he is. And so when we look at it from that perspective, you would like to think that professional pitchers, pitchers who've ultimately successfully gone about the business of elevating themselves to major league baseball level would have the cojones or beyond to step up and pitch to this man. I don't think Roger Clemens would have walked him. I don't think Randy Johnson would have walked him. I don't think some of the elite pitchers in baseball history uh, would have would have ever thought about uh, uh, walking him. A Nolan Ryan, for example, and others. They would have went up there and they would have said, it's me against you. Let's get it on. But that's the problem with today's sport that is Major League Baseball. You get paying customer out there working for their hard-earned money, coming out to the park, Skip, you know this as well as I do. Even though I'm very, very happy and proud to see Dusty Baker as the manager for the Washington Nationals, the fact of the matter is you walking through the turnstiles to see primarily Bryce Harper. You want to see this brother play. You want to see him hit. You want to see him trying to get a hit as opposed to being walked six times, walked 13 times in a series. That's just highway robbery. That's not taking into account the fans that are there. And for those that would make the argument that, you know what, oh, Stephen A., this is just, it just comes with the game. Uh, I hope Major League Baseball players are listening. Instead of listening, uh, instead of living in their own cocoon, paying attention to how they do things, let me throw out some numbers at you because I got our stat guy, David Sabino, to give me these stats two. as Wait, well. Two. Wait, that's two references to the Sabino? That's right. In I got, one I got, show? I got, I got, I, I got, I got, I got to help. I got to give the brother some love. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He's so helping love, you baby. a lot today. I got to. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Because I needed these numbers. Look at this, Skip. When we talk about, <laughs> according to the Nielsen ratings, 50 percent of baseball viewers are now 55 years of age or older. Sure. Which is up from 41 percent mm -hmm. 10 years ago. So okay. in the last 10 years. The age group is, I mean, you're talking about, look at, the, look at the growth. And then you talk about the data, average age, 53 for baseball, 47 for the NFL, 37 for the NBA. The NFL and the NBA have gone about the business of successfully ingratiating themselves with the youth of America. Baseball is stuck with their tradition. They've ignored the youth of America. Their audience is getting older. And before long, if they keep this nonsense up, they're not going to have an audience. You cannot ask dads to bring their sons and their families to games. You can't market great players like Bryce Harper and Trout and all of these boys and then go out there and you get to see them walk in the base because they don't even get an opportunity to swing. You can't do that to people and expect the sport, the interest in your sport, to elevate. It's going to dissipate. It's going to continue to do so. The audience is going to get older. And before long, you're going to have a limited number of people even wasting their time watching baseball. I'm telling you that right now. Yep. We've said that many times on this show, and I am with you on that. I ask you a question. Who won all four games of this series? Wasn't it the Cubs? Huh? It was the Cubs won all four. That's so right. Bryce That's Harper's right. team did not win any of these four games. Exactly. Is Joe Madden's job to entertain the paying customers or to win baseball games? Win baseball games. I think games. it's to win baseball games. And I'm sure Cubs fans were wildly entertained by what they saw in all four games over the weekend. It is not Joe Madden's fault that there's a huge loophole in the rules. And I get what you say about the competitive spirit of the game is you just challenge. I got to tell you, for, from my heart, I covered Barry Bonds' astonishing run to the home run record in 2001. Mm -hmm. 
August, mm -hmm. September, I attended many of the games home and away, covered most of them. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times I sat back and thought, if I were the opposing manager, I would walk Barry Bonds every time, every time, because his lineup protection, the guy hitting behind him in the cleanup spot, was Jeff Kent. You remember Jeff Kent? Yeah, the guy no. you called Jeff Kent. Jeff Kent. Thank you, because he couldn't right. in those spots. It, the, the, the stage was too big for him to protect Barry, to take advantage of. Barry's walked, so now I got to cash in. He just couldn't do it enough. He was a nice player, a very good player, but he wasn't that guy. He, he wasn't that guy through that stretch run. My point is, neither is Ryan Zimmerman. He's a one-time All-Star. When was Ryan? Back in 2009. He's hitting 236 right now. He went two for 15, did Ryan Zimmerman in this series as the lineup protection to Bryce Harper. So my point is, th this is the opposite of hack a whomever in, in pro basketball. Because in that case, you're taking advantage of the opponent's glaring weakness. That guy can't shoot free throws. In this case, you, you are eliminating the opponent's greatest offensive strength because the rules allow it. Because to me, even though the seam heads, the, the money ball guys, what? keep telling me, oh, but, but that'll come back to bite you. It'll come back to haunt you if you keep putting that guy on first base, first base, first base. Baloney it will. It's Bryce Harper, about, about the closest thing, it's Har Trout or Harper, that we've seen to Barry Bonds in impact, offensive impact, I'm putting him on every time because it is psychologically debilitating to the whole team. You just put him on first base again, you gave him what? a quote-unquote free pass. I, if I'm the opposing manager, I'm walking Bryce Harper every time. You could scoff at me, laugh at me, ridicule me. I'm well, going to win to. the game. It's going to improve my chances to win by putting him on first base seven straight times if that's what I have to do. I'm you sorry, know, but, but, it's a but, loophole but, but, in the rules. I know it's a loophole, and I know factually you're correct, but it doesn't mean that your position is any less shameful. You're talking about competition. You're talking about sports. Skip Bayless, if this is the playoffs, although I would never justify six times, you understand it. If you're going after a pennant, it, you, you understand it. It's May. It's May. And you, you, you're walking a guy six times in a month of May? That just shows that you're not thinking about the fans at all, and you're not thinking about the entertainment He's aspect. Not. You're not. Look, I understand that. And so what I'm saying to you is you wouldn't have a problem with that. But I would, because last I, time I, I checked, hold, yeah. let me finish. Yeah. Matt, last time I checked, Joe Madden ain't, ain't managing for free. He's getting that money from somewhere. Where the money come from? It comes from the fans who patronize your sport. And I'm not saying it's his job specifically. I'm not calling out Joe Madden. Of course not. You're a manager. That's your job. You got you to gotta go about the business trying to win the game. I understand that. I'm saying that Major League Baseball has to do something. You cannot do this to people. You can't rob people of their hard work and okay, money like this. It. You are robbing right. them. So and you can't would, justify would, that, would, Skip. Would baseball ever go so far? Now, this would be a shocking change, and baseball has been averse to change for hundreds of years, it seems yeah. like. Okay, yeah. could you change it to where if you walk a guy a second time, he gets second base, and a third time, he gets third base? Would they do that? Well, 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 well you're going into the specific remedy, mm -hmm. and I respect that. I'm saying to you, that's your way of saying it. You know what I would do? I would, uh, I would mandate eradicating intentional walks from the game. Me, me personally, I'm telling well, you, that's how extreme. You, you can, you can unintentionally, it, intentionally I, I, walk. I understand or that. Intentionally, I, 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 unintentionally. You know, I understand you, you don't that, have to but do it would be for you know. Okay. I understand it, but it would be harder to get away with if you know you have literally by rule, eliminated the intentional walk. I know that's extreme. I know that robs the sport of strategy. I get all of that. I know, but it, but, but, but it's, it's you're, you're in danger of, 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 of damaging the sport when you do. I'm telling you right now, Skip, I, I keep, how many times have I told you the story about how I went I to New York you, because you Barry Bonds doesn't come to Yankee I Stadium? I and they, I was so disgusted. I got it. I was so disgusted. I know. I'm with you. But, but again, they didn't care. The, the Yankees were trying to, it was Yankees, right? I know. Sanford, they were trying to win the game. Why don't you take the bat out of Barry Bonds' hands? Because the rules allow you to. It's, it's well, not let me ask you this question. Let me ask a question then, Skip. And see, this is where, to me, your argument goes awry. 
You know Nolan Ryan. You can go back to the days of Bob Knew Gibson. Well. You could give me Randy Johnson. Would they have ever done that? Nope. They, Too much see, Start right there. Start right there. Start right there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, how many I'm of those saying, guys were there? Or are but there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm talk, But that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, excuse me, you have to sit up there and deal with this man. That's what sport is supposed to be about and nobody flagrantly robs the viewing public of that reality more so than baseball okay is that disputable is that disputable it's not but you cannot legislate competitive spirit you 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 have to you can try you have to change the rules you 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 can try well you you you, you, you tell people have the guts to stand up to bryce harper and throw in fastballs i'm not i'm not saying fastball i'm saying you have to pitch you have to pitch to the man. You can't sit up there and ask people to come and watch folks play and then walk the star, the number one gate attraction. Walk okay, this I, man I six times. It. But but would you rather pitch to Ryan Zimmerman or Bryce Harper? Of course, I, we know the answer to that, Skip. That's a given. That's a given. But what I'm saying is, let's take the you you talk the foul with DeAndre Jordan, DeAndre yeah. Drummonds of the world, yeah. and all of that. We understand. But skip over the last two minutes. What happens? You're not allowed to do certain they things without, that uh, without yeah. punitive damages because they said you can't just continue okay. to do this and circumvent dealing with a uh, uh, Chris Paul or Blake Griffin or somebody. You gotta play. Okay. If if you did the one more base for each additional walk. Then look what ha- would have happened yesterday with Bryce Harper. He'd be scoring on walks. Like his last, what, three or four walks, he would just score. Like, oh, you just put him on home plate. Way to go. Okay, that might I stop got you. It. Oh, oh, I, oh, oh, my, I'm not even arguing the specifics with you because I understand there's a, a plethora of things we could come up with to alleviate the problem in some capacity. I'm just speaking about baseball and the dissipated level of interest on the part of the younger generation, and I'm highlighting this as a primary it, cause yep, it of is. the other sports you get to live in the moment. I agree. Yep. Baseball guys, you're just sitting out there eating, you know, eating sunflower seeds with your shades on. <laughs> yep. They could smoke a cigar in the outfield for crying out loud. It's ridiculous. It is. Yep. It's ridiculous. I'm with you. I agree. All right. You know who else is not robbing the public of his presence? That would be Sam Bradford. He returns to Eagles camp today. The guys will tell you what they make of it after the break. Stay with us. I'll tell you what you ain't got.